All right, what we got here is I had this on there. I was trying to do a good, long, good, long, good cut. But I had this little piece, piece of cut. Maybe. Look at the quick glimpse of that. If you didn't catch that, back up and look at that big hat where it bunches up against it. Look at the back wing on it. It don't look bad now to turn up. If you look up the top, it the back right at that house. And there's that lady in the house. I can see her looking through her blinds and watching me. I was like, oh, God, I'm already nervous. So she's going to make me more nervous. But uh, anyways, uh, I had to push this hackleberry down. And uh, I didn't want, if I know more about Brutus. When I get in a situation like this with Brutus, you know, I can cut, maybe he you're doing a step down back cut, uh, you know, it's just, it's just long range. But, when I get in there, like, a, like if this is Titus, if I had Titus out, I wouldn't even have this off. But with Bruce, I got, for some reason, I don't, either I don't understand my hydraulics, or they ain't powerful enough or something, you know, this ain't understood at all yet. I can't lift the tree like this. Once I get her cut, she won't sit back on me. So, it's back to the old, uh, back to my old pudding to get this tree down. And uh, the Dagon County Road, well, it's actually the old state road. It's actually uh, a concrete road, like, uh, road there. Good bit. And uh, trying to keep tracks off it. Uh, it's a good base because it was the old main corridor through there, the old 41. Uh, so I'm trying to, with the bystander watching, I'm trying to get this tree down and push it toward Stevie. And I got. Two more trees to cut. The next one has a lot of back lean, but it's small enough. I just took Bruce and left the root ball about it. It's just a limb root. Pick the root ball up out of the ground enough to stand, stood her up straight and whack with the cutter. But, <clears throat> but this here we're going to cut the saw, push the cutter, and uh, that'd be that. And the whole time it's bleeding off on me. I think when we got the thing and put a packing kit in the head tilt cylinder, but I think I need to put a pack and get in the main boom lift and the jib boom because also just all the daggone rubber in the thing just because it's old it's not a lot of hours but old you know uh, year wise now I'm going to tighten up the hydraulics and give, give a little boost on that tree I really do think I can adjust this thing out to where it's pretty daggone good it probably ain't going to be tiger cat good It'll be pretty daggone plenty good enough for us because the motor's there. And I've been reading on the Bosch hydraulic pump back here, and uh, I think I know how to uh, adjust it where it puts a little bit more load on the motor. I'm gonna check the motor load and the RPMs and stuff and see how it's. It don't lug down a bit, it, it, don't, it don't try, it don't, it don't push. And I'm gonna have to check, you know, pressure and stuff. But anyways, I'll shut the Hades up and uh, we'll put another triple hinge on this other side. Uh, nah, I get asked about the triple hinge. Like this here, if I done a step down back cut, a single hinge probably would work. But I don't trust Brutus yet. Uh, so I'm going to put a triple hinge in it so I've got actual, actual meat holding in the tree. A little bit too much. It's a pallet. It's a crating tree. Look at that back lane. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. And she's sitting there looking at the blinds right now. Going, I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> Lady, I'm getting nervous. You're making me nervous. But anyways, uh, right there I put a lot. See all that meat on there? I'm going to leave enough meat on this hackleberry to where Brutus just going to have just enough hydraulic power to push on. I think I actually have to raise up on the tree and get a little leverage. But all the way down through there, this road frontage, it goes... Probably an eighth of a mile up through there. And, and most of the trees don't have that much back lean. It does around the top of this big soup bowl I'm cutting. Look how that's one to one down there or worse. You know, probably work, a lot worse than that. Actually. But uh, down through there. And, and uh, <clears throat> see, I saw something just ridiculous. But I got to take a chainsaw and a grapple skitter where you can get up on the pavement there. That big grapple. A uh, good chainsaw hand doing a step, step down back cut. You can run all the way down through there just to pop in them over with the big crap later. Probably do it. We ain't quite got good enough weather to log, but we all want to come up and do something to get to, to start doing good. And uh, maybe me and Stevie or me and Roger or Junkie or somebody head down through there doing all that. Look at all that fuck. Yeah, I got some. Look at that. Let go, stick. Bad gummy. 
I'll shut up. Thanks, everybody. Later, taters. Well, that's Cotton Top saying, uh, later, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean to steal your punch line, Cotton Top. Love you, buddy. Later, all guys.
center. Huh? Oh. Oh, you do? What? Normal or worse? Thanks guys for watching one thing i wanted to say is everybody out there do be safe please we all got to go home at the end of the night there's other people relying on us and let's not forget that thanks everybody have a good hey guys and gals don't forget to go to loggerway.com for all your logging away gear thanks <laughs> <laughs>